I announced on TikTok that I was a God, that we all are God, and my video went viral. And do you know how many people resonated with that message? I had over 9,000 likes, so many comments, so many people who already know. I definitely see that I shifted timelines. Like I think about, um, you know, a couple of years ago when I was making videos, I can see from that point to this point, how many timelines I shifted. I felt incredibly lonely in this world, knowing I was a God and not resonating with anyone that no one knew it, you know, until, you know, I met my husband. And even when we met, we wanted to meet other people who also believed they were God. And I think about back then, and you know, only a couple few years later, now like there's so many people resonate. Like I have actually met people in my personal life in the city that we moved to. That we we met a, we met two other families, and they also believe they're God. So we're definitely shifting timelines. We're definitely raising our frequency and you know I was surprised how much love I was getting on TikTok for sharing my truth you know and yeah a couple of people not even that many you know negative you know religious people I was surprised at that and um you know I've been posting these shorts these shorts on uh, YouTube and, you know, I realized TikTok is just giving me way more love. I'm like, like I had to hold all the negative <laughs> Christian comments, you know, back because, I mean, it, I can't believe how nasty these people are getting. But, you know, not to say that TikTok is any better, but I just it's just way more love made, way more open minded and spiritual people or, you know, on a journey, you know, on TikTok. And, you know, the only problems I get in the comments are like other spiritual people that they're still at the level where, you know, they think that only their ideals are real. So they kind of tell, you know, this is wrong. This is right. Right. But when you realize who you truly are, you realize we're all right. We're all creating our own experience. So you might believe in a fifth dimension and you might believe in 12 dimensions. It doesn't matter because you're creating your reality, you know. And so. It's um, so, yeah, I wasn't even going to like like I actually had something against the whole TikTok thing. I just I really didn't like the movement because of the negative stuff. And I I wondered if, you know, I could use this content on TikTok. And at first I I wasn't getting any love and they basically gave me zero views. And I said, you know what? Forget TikTok. I posted one, I said, I'm going to do one more video and I'm going to be bold and I'm going to post exactly what I say because since they're not showing it to anybody, might as well announce I'm God. And so that was the video. I woke up the next morning, the inbox was full. I mean, the messages were full. The views were full. The likes were full. The shares were full. And I just, I couldn't believe how many people like are thirsty for this connection, for this knowledge, for the, for this message, you know? And so many people who felt like alone in being a guy and knowing who they were. And now like, like everything is shifting. So that's why like I'm coming back to YouTube and I'm making these posts and I'm putting those shorts. I know those shorts get circulated to people who aren't normally subscribers, a lot more people. And, you know, I feel like if I didn't step forward and be myself, I would never connect to more people like myself. And so, yeah, I had to look back. I had to, you know, ignore the negativity, you know, ignore the Christians, ignore them telling me, you know, whatever they, you know, whatever they want to say in their experience. I know who I am. They don't know. You know, I was there where I was unconscious, too. And so, like, I really believe that we create our reality and I'm going to create a reality where I can be myself, that I can talk like I am God. We are all God. We're creating our reality. You know, everything is true. And like, that's who I'm going to be. 
you know, I'm not, that was the one thing I was struggling with. Should I be myself? Should I not be myself? When I run a business, so I have to take on a new persona. No, I'm going to be me. And so, and I'm shifting to a reality that the frequency, everything will match that. And so, you're sharing on TikTok and, um, and you know, posting. And so I had cut off my social media before because it was giving me some issues um, you know, uh, manifesting and stuff. And, and, you know, you know, I'll do another video on the whole social media thing, but I decided to come back because I was starting a business. And right now it's like your resume to like get started out here. And so, um, but it has been a journey and I think I need to share a lot about how social media has affected me since I got back on and how it's affected me as a creator guy. So yeah, that's another video. That's a good idea. All right. So thank you for watching. Sign up for my email list to stay connected and um, have a great day.